going to keep your red on your right, that is incorrect because you will run aground right over here. Hey guys, Captain Harley here. So a scary amount of folks are confusing the intracoastal waterway markers with regular channel markers. Um, so here I have shown the intracoastal waterway. I have these little dots inside of the intracoastal mark uh, waterway markers um, because they represent the intracoastal waterway. Um, typically on the real signs in the intracoastal, they will have a yellow square or a yellow triangle inside there. So that's how you differentiate between regular and uh, intracoastal waterway markers. Now, I talk about red dirt, green sea. So when you're in an intracoastal, you want to keep the red between you and the dirt, which is the land, and then the green between you and the sea. So that's going to be red dirt, green sea. Now, you guys, some people are talking about red right return. If your marina is up here and you're returning to your marina up here, you're going to keep your red on your right. That is incorrect because you will run aground right over here. That only applies in this scenario. You're returning from the ocean into your harbor and you keep the red on your right. Now, if you're leaving, you'll keep the red on your left going out into the ocean. So you will run aground if you are boating in areas like Miami, um, Fort Lauderdale, that sort of thing, where it's really, really shallow outside of the channel markers. So be careful, know your markers before you get out on a boat, man.